Welcome back to Pokemon Emerald. I'm here on Route 110, I think. Um, anyway, it's where the Trick House is. I know in this episode, or in the last episode at least, I said I was going to take on the final legendary in the main game. Um, I was actually thinking about it, and because like this is episode 99, and the legendary in question is actually like the one on the fucking box art. I figured it'd, it'd be a little more ceremonious if we actually caught that legendary on the 100th episode. I just thought it'd be kind of cool. So I, I guess I'll take this episode to kind of tie up all the loose ends that we have left in Hoenn. I know there's more than I can probably think of right now with like a bunch of items and stuff that we needed HMs to get to previously that I couldn't get before. But honestly, I don't have the time or patience to find all the items. I'll do the important stuff, mainly the trick house. Um, I'm pretty sure I said I would come back occasionally to, to do the trick house, but I never actually did. Um, but now that we have all the HMs and whatnot, we can actually do... I believe at least that we can do uh, the rest of the trick house puzzles, so... Let's do it, man. It's It's been a long time coming. People, you know, real fans who take everything I say as gospel have been waiting for this forever. Waiting for me to do the trick house puzzles. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I forgot about it. It's just I don't really care that much about mail. Because <laughs> that's that's pretty much all you find here, and like, besides the trainer battles, but... I feel like we have enough trainer battles under our belt. This is only the second challenge? Oh my god, I need to look up how many challenges there are. How long is this gonna take? No way this is the second one, because I did the cut one, and I did the... We did do the cut one, right? Oh god, I hope so. I know we did one with like buttons that like open doors or whatever, right? Let me see. No, not the Rick House. I don't know what a Rick House is. Winkle, okay. Oh. Yeah, I left I left Cheerio in the PC. Um because I figured we'd, we'd probably need H&M to like do some of the puzzles here, so... Unfortunately, this level 15 Winkle's gonna have to be dealt with by Dark Nut. Not like we really needed an electric type, but... I don't know. Uh, let's just keep him out. It's not like a real... There's, I'm not gaining any like... Any significant amount of experience from these battles, so I might as well just keep Dark Nut out. Alright, let's see. Uh... Oh. The final challenge can't be taken unless I defeat the champion, apparently. Yeah, okay. Well, we can't finish the trick house entirely, but... We, we, can, we can do the puzzles, I guess, that we can do. <laughs> Obviously. We can do the puzzles that we can do. Yeah, but I'll, I'll do I'll, I'll do as much as I can, and then I guess we d we'll just save the last puzzle for like post game. That's really annoying. I wish I'd now I'm gonna have to like dedicate an episode to the trick house just in the post game. It's dumb, man. Why aren't I allowed to run in here? It would make life so much easier and so much more convenient if you would just allow me. What? Why? I thought I already pressed all the buttons. Why didn't the trapdoor go up? I saw there was like one button in the corner that wasn't pressed yet, but I thought I, I'm pretty sure I pressed that one already. I just want to go back. Uh, I'm, I'm like really fatigued from recording that kid have a Kyogre lunchbox? That was cool. I want one of those, honestly. I'm feeling kind of fatigued from the from the Reggie battles that we did. Because I, I recorded them all like within the span of maybe like an hour and a half it's been. Not quite an hour and a half. It's been like an hour and like 15 minutes, I think. So I did all three Reggies in an hour, just about. That's that you know that'll that'll really expend your energy. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I sell Reggie's and Reggie accessories. 
How did that not kill it? For the love of God, Dark Dead. It's level 16. What's wrong with you? you? You really lost your edge, haven't you? What move did I want to have on Darknet? Because like, I feel like Fury Cutter wasn't like an endgame thing for me. I kind of wanted to have something else on there. I think at one point I wanted to actually have Aerial Ace on Darknet, but... Um, you actually can't put Aerial Ace on him in Gen 3, as I as I learned as when, when we beat Winona. So... I don't know like what my backup plan was, maybe Sunny Day or something, but because Darknet doesn't have chlorophyll, he can't really take much advantage of Sunny Day. It would it would boost his Giga Drain a little bit, but is it really worth it? No. For the extra move slot, I'd You know what? It's inconvenient and it's not worth it, so fuck it. Fury Cutter's here to stay, I I guess. I don't really know what how much utility it has. Considering it couldn't beat a level 16 shroomish, but it's it's here to stay regardless. I think, unless there's like a cool, really cool move I could put on Dark Nut, but I don't think so. Trickmaster is smart. No, he's not. If he was so smart, he would make puzzles that could really stump me. Instead, he just puts buttons in his house. Ack, you made it to me. Hmm, you're sharp. It took me all night to make the maze. You must my equal in greatness by one, two, three, four, five places. Fine, you have earned this reward. A timer ball. Well, that would have come in handy when we were fighting Reg Ice, but. Oh well. The timer ball, if you don't know, uh, basically the longer you're in a battle, the, the better the timer ball works. So, <laughs> yeah, and obviously Reg Ice was a long battle because we expended all of our Ultra Balls on him. I just saw a spider crawling on my wall, and now I'm really scared. Now I'm, I'm scared it's gonna bite me! Don't let that spider bite you. Spider bite you. Spider bite hurt! Hurt spider bite! Okay. Shrek Master, you, you really, like, shouldn't... I don't know what you're doing to, like, make yourself shine. Like, you're holding up a mirror and, like, reflecting the light in my eyes or something. But you really should stop doing that if you really want to stay hidden. It, it kind of seems counterintuitive to your your whole, you know, your whole stick here. I didn't actually look up how many puzzles there are. Where, where did I put my phone? Oh, I found it. Okay. Uh, it doesn't really tell you. Oh. Oh, there's eight of them. Wow. That, and I'm only on the third one. Please, God, no. Please tell me I don't have to do this five more times. Uh, I guess I can look at, like, a map. Yeah, it should, should show me. One, two. Three? Wait. Okay, yeah, we are on the third one out of eight, I guess. Oh, why did I use Shadow Ball? I'm a fucking dummy. Uh, okay, so there's this one, and then... And then another maze, it looks like? I don't really get that. But okay. Uh, and then there's... Okay, that's weird looking. I guess it, I guess it's just another like trainer gauntlet? It's what it looks like. Maybe there's stuff... Maybe I'm like missing something. Cause it, 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 you know, the fifth one it looks like is literally just like two exclamation points with the scroll. <laughs> so... I don't know, maybe we won't have to fight any trainers. That'd be kind of cool, actually. Save us some time. Uh, all right, I think that's the fifth one. And then the sixth one, God. Another, another, so are they all mazes? What the hell? Am I missing something? Seriously, I'm really confused. Okay, the seventh one it looks like is basically just, yeah, that one just looks like a straight up copy of T Tate and Liza's gym. Okay, and the, the eighth and final one, I guess. Oh, it's like okay, the eighth one's like an ice puzzle, but apparently we can't we can't access that one until we beat the game. Okay, that's really dumb. I don't want to come back here, but it looks like I'm gonna have to if we want to do everything. 
But then again, like, I'm not really doing everything, like, if I wanted to 100, like, absolutely 100% the game, I'd have to do all the contests to fill up the stupid, uh, Lily Cove City Museum, and if I'm being honest, if I'm being quite frank, I, uh, I'm not really feeling particularly motivated to do that, um, because I'd have to, like, mix... I'd basically have to make, like, specialized teams for each of the contests. Like, Van Vanity is decently okay in, like, the beauty contest. I, I, I did normal. I won the normal one. I don't know if I could do, like, the highest setting. It might be too hard for me. And then there's, like, five other... F five other categories... Or four other categories, to, I guess. It's just too much... Too much effort for what? For a, a fucking paintings. No, I'm not gonna do it. I don't care that much. I will, however, subject myself to the monotony of fighting all the trainers in the stupid trick house. But yeah, as, as, you, as you already saw a while ago, before I started rambling on about, about how many levels there are in the trick house, um, you, you need the HM uh, Rock Smash to actually access this one. So that's, that's what I kind of meant when I, I mentioned that you need like new HMs to access the new Trick House puzzles. I thought they were like more involved than that though, because I mean basically all I did was just smash the rock and then it's like a normal ass puzzle after that with like buttons and doors and shit. But I, I think it might it might only be that way in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire where like the puzzles actually revolve around the new HMs and like they more or less teach you how to use them. Maybe I'll just cut out these trainer battles. They're taking an awfully long time. And again, the fact that I can't run inside the trick house really just makes it even slower. Oh, too bad I can't pick up the stupid fucking wood mail. I don't care. I don't even know like the pur the purpose of mail in the first place, so it's okay. I'm not I'm not too upset about it. Did we did we read the scroll already, or do I need to go back and? Is this gonna close red door? Yeah. Okay. So. Wait. How? How get scroll? I don't understand. Ravioli, ravioli, how do I get the scrollioli? I'm like legitimately stumped right now. The Trick Master... Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was gonna say the Trick Master got the better of me this time, I guess, but no. I'm smart. I'm a smart... I'm a college student. I can figure these things out. Andrew wrote down the secret code on the door. Trick Master is coveted. I don't know about that. I don't really covet you, Trick... But you spend your whole life making trick houses for little kids to come beat. It takes you all night. How does it take you all night if we... Oh, fuck. Wait. Oh. So we can get both items next time we do the trick house, I guess? Okay. Fine. I'll delete some of my stupid mail that I picked up. Never gonna use that. I could sell it, but then I have to go all the way back to the city and stuff. I mean, it's not even worth it. Alright. Let's, uh... I don't get why he says it takes me all night when I'm, I'm literally just exiting and entering his house again and again. You're here to accept the reward from before- oh. No, I didn't. I- I more just came to see what you would cook up next, but fine, let's delete some shit and then toss that mail. Toss that mail. And once again, toss that mail! Hashtag toss that mail. That's the, gonna be the next trending hashtag. Toss that mail. It's catchy. It's got a, it's got a ring to it. You're here to accept the reward from before, isn't that right? 
Yes, right I am. Here, I'll give it to you now. Hard stone. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh. Trick master, I don't want any more hard stones from you, please. Shut up. I'm, I will come back later, all right? I'll come back in approximately one second. And you better be ready by then. I, okay, I legitimately didn't see the flash that time. <laughs> Am I getting stupider as this episode goes on? I'm being watched, but from where? I didn't see it. Did, it, did nothing happen? Or like, okay. <laughs> I guess I just got lucky, but... Either nothing happened, because I, I legitimately didn't see any flash, or... The longer this episode goes on, like, the, the, the slower I become. It's just a, a slow progression. I'm getting dumber and dumber and dumber as time goes on. And by the end of the episode, I'm gonna be just like a vegetable or something. Oh. Oh wait, we do have strength. Oh yeah, because I taught it to Sanders. For some reason, I thought we didn't have S Sanders in my party. I don't even know why I thought that. It's too much bother to think this out. Yeah, I know. It's such a pain in the ass. Just... I'm gonna solve your puzzle eventually, Mr. Trickman, so just... Just give me the item. And let me be on my way. Is Shadow Ball gonna affect it? Like, oh, okay, I guess it does. I can never remember if it's if it's ghost types don't affect fighting types or fighting types don't affect ghost types, but I guess I guess it is the latter. Can you are you okay? Like can you get down from that position or are you just kinda stuck there? Mech mail. More like more like Toss mail. <sighs> yeah, I guess that I guess that proves I really am getting stupider. Oh, can we can we just be done? I don't have to do the rest of the trick house. Well, I guess I do kind of want to battle all the trainers just because, if for no other reason than just to get experience on my Pokemon, I guess. Because it, 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 I guess it has gotten up to the point where like. They're, they're high enough levels now that, like, they're offering decent experience, so I might as well battle them, you know. Maybe I should put, uh, Play-Doh out in the front, because he is, uh, admittedly a little lacking in the, in the experience department, and I get that's my fault. You know, I boxed him a few times for, for Nick Nake and, and whatnot, and for Relicant, but let's bring him, let's bring him out again. Let's, let's let him rise from the ashes. Let's make Play-Doh great again. My, my sinuses are being bad. Okay, let's... Uh, I'll just kind of scan the room for any more trainers, I guess. Here's one. Heh, <laughs> boulders like this? I can brush aside with one finger. Yeah, right, mister. Let me see your Pokemon. If your Pokemon knows strength, I'm gonna... I'm gonna take your foot and lift it up until your crotch... Yeah, your Makuhita probably knows strength, dude. Don't even... Don't even kid yourself. You're not strong enough to push these boulders all by yourself. I'm gonna lift your leg up and split your groin apart. It's kind of, that's a little bit of a graphic image actually. I'm sorry for that. Okay, let's, let's use vanity. Why not? McPuff already has enough experience. She's already level 50. Meanwhile, vanity is, Va vanity is here in the, in the slums. She's level 48. She hasn't got a chance to battle in a long time. Cause we've like been out on the open sea and all we've encountered has been like water Pokemon. So, she hasn't really gotten much of a chance to shine, but now now is Vanity's time. Vanity and Play-Doh, they're, they're making a comeback, to be sure. You know, Play-Doh's probably going to run out of PP for Earthquake, like, very soon, but it's okay. He'll, he'll, do what he do, he'll do what he can, and then, you know, as far as I'm concerned, as long as he does that, he's, he's done a good job. Alright, he's served his purpose. 
Wait, what the fuck? Oh. <laughs> I really am getting stupider! See, th this is- this is video evidence of- of the- the degradation of my mind thanks to the trick house. Trick master is cool. Didn't we already- wasn't that already a code? I feel like that was- might have been the first one, even. It didn't take you all night, man. It only took you like a few seconds. Okay, smoke ball. That, you know, <laughs> it might sound like something you can catch a Pokemon with, but no, it's it's not a Pokeball, it's actually an item, uh, which allows you... I think what it does is lets you escape uh, any wild battle without fail. Because you, like, throw it and then, like, it makes a, a smoke screen that you can get away and... I don't know, man. You're being watched. From where? I don't know. Maybe this window? No. Maybe this case under the table again no this tree yeah there you are <laughs> how did you know I concealed myself in this planter you're sharp oh you weren't even like behind the tree you were in the planter how do you fit yourself oh god I'm tired trick master I don't want to do any more tricks houses please oh oh this is the exclamation point one this should be interesting at least Clickety clack, Mecha Doll 1 am I. If you answer quizzes correctly, then you will go to Mecha Doll 5. Then you can obtain the secret code. Mecha Doll 1 quiz. One of these Pokemon is not of the water type. Which one is it? So, if I answer correctly, if, I mean, if I answer wrongly, is it gonna like, let me battle him? Cause that, I, I low key kinda wanna battle this Mecha Bot. Just to rack up some experience. So, I know Azrael is just a normal type, right? So, oh fuck! Oh my god! See, the video evidence continues. It's proving that I'm getting stupider. Because I literally just went on and on about how I wanted to get it wrong, and I. Okay, well. We can at least, I, I'm assuming, battle these other Mecha Dolls. Mecha Doll 1's quiz difficulty level is set too low. Mecha Doll 2 quiz. Which of these Pokemon did Wally borrow from your father? Well, it was a, a Zigzagoon, but let's say he borrowed Slack off. Bzz, disappointment, error. Wah, wah, clickety clack. Your next challenge we wait for. Oh, okay, so you don't battle them. Fine, I get to show off my Pokemon knowledge then. I can, no, I'm so good. Oh, oh, they asked different questions. Okay, wow. Uh, one of these Pokemon is not found on Route 110. Which one is it? Oh god. Um, it's it's Talo. Okay. Yeah. Route one, Route 110 is like Plusle, Mine, and Gulpin and Poochyena. I'm pretty sure. Make it all ones. Well, Poochyena is on like basically every route in this game. Make it all two quiz. Which of these Pokemon was chasing Professor Birch? Oh fuck, I legitimately don't know. Because in Ruby and Sapphire, it, it's one of these two, but in, in Emerald, it's different. I think it was a Poochyena. Fuck! Okay, it's a Poochyena and Ruby and Sapphire then, apparently. God damn it. I know, you're gonna give me the quiz. One of these Pokemon does not use Leech Life, which one is it? I don't know. Dust Ox? Okay, sweet. Uh, this is actually pretty hard. I thought these questions would be easy, but no. And they just get harder and harder. Okay, it was Zigzagoon. <laughs> that one I know now. Okay. Clickety clack, make it all three, am I? Matters of money are my sole focus. Oh Jesus! I don't know. I don't. I'm probably not gonna know the answer. Which costs more, three Harbor Mails or one Burn Heal? Oh, the Burn Heal. Yeah, Harbor Mails only like ten bucks. That was admittedly a pretty easy question. Clickety clack, Mecha Doll Four. That is me. My quiz is an object of beauty. Mecha Doll Four quiz. In Lava Rich Town, were there more elderly men or elderly women? Uh, 
uh, the same number? No, fuck! Oh, it was, it was probably women. Yeah, I had a whole episode titled Naked Old Ladies, so that should have probably clued me in. Frick. Sell one great ball and buy one potion. How much money remains? Oh my god, how am I supposed to know this? Nothing. Oh god, that was a lucky break. Okay. I figured it was like a trick question, kind of. Clickety clack, make a doll four, that is me. My quiz is an object of beauty. Make a doll four quiz in Lava Ridge Town where there are more. Okay. Yeah, there are more women. What the fuck? No, dude! Naked old ladies! <laughs> this is like some math shit. I don't like math in my video games. One repel, one soda pop. No. No, they will cost less. Okay. Why is this so hard, man? I love. I legit came in here expecting this to be like a breeze, but okay. There's more men. Oh, come on! Fuck off. How many girl students? Two. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! They were probably zero, huh? Okay, please, please ask the Lava Ridge Town question, because <laughs> I know that one now. Okay, uh, none. Oh my god, dude! How many fucking times am I gonna have to do this shit? Lava Ridge Town. Lava Ridge Town. Yes, okay, thank you. There are more elderly men. Fuck me. Oh wait, so now that I have the scroll, if I get the fifth one wrong, am I gonna have to come back and do the fourth one again, or can I just use the code by just doing this guy? Clickety clack, Mecha Doll 5, am I? The master's best and proudest achievement, am I? Mecha Doll 5 quiz. On the cycling road, how many triathletes were there? It, you know what? You know what? I don't give a shit anymore. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up on 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 the Wikipedia. Uh, Wikipedia apparently does not have the answer to this question, but I think it's eight. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Game Facts. Andrew wrote down the secret code on the door. Checkmaster is a genius. Yeah, well, if he knows all this random shit, he's either he's either a genius or fucking autistic at this point. How many triathletes are there on the cycling road? How are you supposed to remember that shit without, like, just guessing? It's just trial and error, basically. TM12, what is that, Trick Room? No, I think we already have Trick Room. He probably said what it was. I wasn't, wasn't paying attention, though. Uh, oh, of course, I'm at the bottom of the list. Twelve. Taunt. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense, because he's like... At this point, he's basically taunting me, like, oh... Well, rightfully so. I am getting stupider as time goes on. Alright, so I think we have, like, fucking two more left to do. I didn't expect this to take so long. <laughs> I'm being watched, but where? This other window. No. There we go. <laughs> I found you faster this time, sucker. Uh, I'm like, I'm getting hot. Maybe it's, maybe it's like the frustration really getting to me, but I'm, I'm like actually really hot right now. Oh, okay. So this is like basically just the Fortree City Gym, I guess, now. He's not even trying anymore. He, he like, went to Fortree City and, like, saw the gym, and he's like, Oh! What the heck? That's cool. I should do this. But no. It... It's just annoying, is what it is. Trick Master. When I heard there was a strange house, I had to check it out. I bet you're regretting it now. Spaghetti, spaghetti. I'm filled with regretty. Of course, it's a fucking flying type. Of course! Of course! I want to shoot myself in the cock. I don't- I never say cock normally, that's like... I, I, I just say my, my pee pee or my dick, but never, you know... When I say cock, that's when you know I'm really serious. 
And you know what? I'll say cock two more times. Three more times. Cock, cock, cock. This is a pain in my cock. Also, I'm hungry and I want some pretzels. I want... <laughs> maybe, maybe not pretzels. Pretzels are pretty fattening. I'm trying to kind of... I'm trying to kind of slow down on the on the fattening foods, but but pretzels are just so alluring. I can't I can't resist their 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 undeniable charm. With the, with the fine curves and the nice salt, there we have like we have like the waffle the waffle type pretzels too. The ones that are kind of shaped like like little. Uh, what are they shaped like, really? It's it's like a it's like a grid kind of shape, like a like a. I don't know. There's a word for that. I can't remember it though. I'm getting dizzy from these rotating doors. Please don't have a flying type, or else I'm gonna I'm gonna quit Pokemon Emerald forever. I'm not even gonna go and catch Rayquaza. I'm just gonna. Okay. Well, I don't think I don't think earthquake is going to be very effective, but at least it's not a flying. At least it'll affect it at all. So I'm happy for that. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and, and, and poison this uh, this cacturn so as not to waste any more PP for earthquake. Cause that's I'm all about that conservation, you know. We could we could like just stall now. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, it's because it got super effective. I don't want to take any chances. Let's just kill this shit. Die, you you scarecrow. Oh, come on. Oh, well, Toxic's going to hurt it, right? Not before it can get off ingrain, of course. Please kill. I don't want to be here anymore. Please kill. Thank you. <laughs> I had my doubts, because it, it did like nothing the first time. But the thing about Toxic is it gets like exponentially, uh, it does exponentially more damage each time. Oh, oh, there's a scroll. Let's just, <laughs> let's just read it and get the fuck out of here, dude. Okay. No, I don't want to read it again. I would if I had the time, but I'm, I'm, I'm kind of... I'm kind of pinched for time right now, so it's not a not a good time to read, unfortunately. How the fuck? Okay. It, I mean, the, the puzzle's not hard. You you need like essentially just like minimal glane glane capacity in order to get these done. But I mean, like I said, like I've said many a time, bird Pokemon of fucking course. Like I've said many a time already, I am, uh, I am in fact getting dumber and dumber as time goes on, so... I'm not even gonna bother with the stupid toxic stalling anymore, I'm just... Maybe later, maybe in like the Elite Four or something I'll do toxic stalling, but I just... <laughs> I don't have the patience for it right now, honestly. I just wanna... I've been recording here for 36 minutes. God knows how long the episode is gonna actually be. All because I just wanted to fight Rayquaza on the 100th episode. <laughs> and as a result, I'm gonna have a fucking like 40 minute episode 99. Oh man. I wish I had Cheerio with me. He would have been really good at this. Or she, sorry. She would have been really enjoying this right now. Come on, dude. I don't have time for this. What? What is the... What is the purpose of you even using Protect? It's not helping you much. Ice Beam's gonna do neutral damage, isn't it? Oh no. Well, I guess it did still do neutral damage, but Vanity's just so damn good that like... One hit KO'd even though it was not even super effective. That's that's when you know you got a real good Pokemon in your hands. I'm really glad I decided to... To, to go through all the trouble to get Feebast and then evolve it, because my... Vanity is really damn good. Especially, you know, especially taking the time to get one with a modest nature. I'm really glad I did that. Past me, I know you're toiling right now trying to get a Feebass and trying to get a modest nature or Feebass on top of that. And also doing like the whole berry blending thing. 
and getting all the Kelpsy berries. I know you're toiling, but from future me to past me, thank you so much. The bag is full. Of course. Of course. Yeah. What are you going to give me, old man? The magnet. Oh, that's actually kind of helpful. Um, that's going to just up electric type moves. So when I get Cheerio back in the party, I'm going to give that to her, I guess. Because that's all, that's really all she does is just use electric type moves. So <laughs> it'll be good for her. Okay, where are you, you stupid bastard? Is it finally going to be this window? Oh my god. The one time I didn't check that window right off the bat. You've come to challenge my trick house. Yes, I, we've been through this many times. You don't need to repeat yourself every damn time we come back. Okay, I think this... I think this might be the last one that we can do. Yeah, okay. So it's, it's basically Moss Deep Gym. Hopefully there's no more flying types, because they still have Play-Doh on the front. I, did, I just want to use Play-Doh, and the game, the game like, is repeating, repeatedly basically telling me, like, no. Can't use them, sorry. We got water types galore, and we got bird types. Bird types. Wow, flying types. Does Banat have Levitate? I really hope it doesn't, because... I'm gonna use Earthquake and hope for the best. Oh, this, this is a good pairing, though, Play-Doh and McPuff, because... Um, Earthquake... Earthquake normally would hit your teammate, but since McPuff's flying type... We're in the clear! Liquor before beer, you know? You're in the clear. It's not true, by the way. It's it's a... 100% a myth. If you weren't aware. I don't know how many of my viewers actually are of age to... <laughs> be able to drink alcohol, but if, if you are... Just know. Okay. So I'm guessing Lunatone? Yeah. So, Plato's gonna be able to do jack shit here. Let's bring out Vanity. Yeah, so this basically, like, what the fuck? This, this is literally just the Moss Deep Gym. I think they're also the same levels as Tate and Liza's Soul Rocket Lunatone. Oh, wait. You know what? Now that I think about it. Now that I actually think about it. How, how many times you can do the trick house might not actually be dependent on on HMs you have. It could be how many badges you have, because right, because there's like eight challenges. Well, the, the eighth one you can't do in, until you beat in the game, but you can't get to the trick house until you have at least one badge. So like, is that how it works? Maybe. Wait, but don't you need? Don't you need two badges to get here? Wait, maybe not. Oh yeah, you do, because... Yeah, otherwise Mr. Bonnie won't let you sail the slate port. Yeah. Or maybe he does. I never actually... Yeah, that, that's one question I asked. I never actually fact-checked. I think I did try to look it up once, but I couldn't find any, like, definitive answer. So, yeah, maybe once you deliver the letter to Steven, you can just bypass the for gym and go straight to slate port. In which case, I guess you could do the trick house with one badge, although then you'd have to just go back to Dover Town. I don't know why you really particularly want to do that, but you could, hypothetically. Psychic Joshua? No, Psychic Alvaro. I, see, I, here I am pretending to be a psychic, seeing if I can guess the, <laughs> the trainer's names before they come out. But. Sadly, I am no good. I could never have predicted a name like Alvaro. I've never even heard that name in my life. Of course he lives with 1 HP. Oh, but he's being a fucking idiot using Curse. That is one of the stupidest moves I've ever seen a Pokemon do. Oh, what? If he has one more than one Pokemon, I guess it makes sense. But Actually, that wasn't a bad move, although I am going to switch Play-Doh out, so actually it was a bad move. <laughs> Sorry, Alvaro. Yeah, if we are playing set, then yeah, that would have been that would have been wise on your part to kind of just sacrifice that one HP to put off the curse. But uh, we're not playing in set; we're playing in switch. So 
get fucked. Get shrecked, little boy. How long is this episode gonna be? It's gonna be really long, and that makes me really unhappy! Because no sense of consistency! But, you know, the, thing, the things I do for Rayquaza, you know, I just, I want to appease him so badly that I want him to have episode 100 all to himself. It's, you know, it's worth it. No, it's worth it. Now that I think about it, that's going to be so cool. Taking on Rayquaza in the 100th episode. And maybe I'll maybe I'll make like a cool little thumbnail. Like I'll put little, uh, I'll put little, like I don't know, fucking emojis or something in the thumbnail. No, that's that's stupid. I'll, I'll put something cool in the thumbnail. I'll make it. I'll make it a real special one, because it's like episode 100, and we're fighting Rayquaza, and it's like almost the end of the game. So it's really cool. I don't know. I'll I'll, I'll try to do something cool with it. At the, at the very least, I'll like, I'll put a little celebratory pinata on it. <laughs> I might not even remember to do that on the thumbnail, but if I, please, if I'm by any chance listening to this, future me, if you're listening to this right now, please put a fucking pinata in the episode 100 thumbnail. Please. Doofoofoofo, that's, wow, that's a unique laugh. Even even for like Pokemon NBC, I don't think I've ever heard new foo. I've heard foo foo foo. Uh, never new foo foo. That's interesting. Psychic Mariella. Oh, there's Chimeco, uh, which we actually I don't think we've seen it yet. I did talk about it when we were on Mount Pyre, but uh, we didn't really get a chance to look at it. Um, so yeah, there it is in all its all its glory. I don't know what you were expecting, but it it is literally a wind chime. It's a, it's got a cool design. It kind of, you know, it kind of reminds me of um, like Trix yogurt. You know how Trix does Chimeco have levitate? Apparently it does. It reminds me of Trick Trix yogurt because like I don't know if Trix yogurt is still a thing. So I, some of the viewers might be a little too young for this. <laughs> that's that's really weird to me that. Some people might be too young to remember Trix Yogurt. Cause that's like that's like a fundamental part of my childhood. But Trix Yogurt used to have like they had yogurt cups that were like two flavors. And they they kinda had like two kinda electric neon colors mixed together in the yogurt. And so it really looks like something that would be like a, a Trix yogurt dual flavor thing, like maybe ra blue raspberry and like strawberry or something. Or cherry. It's like blue and pink. It looks really cool. Chameka has a good design. Not the best in battle, but I can forgive it for its for its design, for sure. I love ya, Chameka. And it's got a cool name too, although people just love to mispronounce Chameka's name. <laughs> A lot of people I've heard say uh, Chimicho, which just baffles me because like it's a chime. It's clearly like a wind chime, right? And like echo is is a quality of sound. So like it would make sense for it to be ch a chime echo. But meanwhile, people can say Chimicho, and like I don't understand like what makes you think that's right. Okay, I gotta. Don't want to screw myself with these puzzles here. There, there's some real tough ones. Not, not, not quite as tough as the Mosty Gym itself, but you know, pretty, pretty devious, I'd say. It, it, it almost got me a few times. It's, it's time to finally fucking end this trick house ordeal. Uh, trick Master is huggable. No, no. I do not want to hug the Trick Master after all this shit that I've gone through. You're sharp. It took me all night setting up arrows. You're my equal. Yay, the bag is full. Of course it fucking is. 
What did I pick up? Tell me it wasn't mail. Because I, I specifically deleted two items before coming in here to do this one. Because I knew it, I knew it'd give me something, but I might have accidentally picked up mail or something. Yeah, Tropic Mail. Oh, it's cute. It's got a little bell awesome on it, but unfortunately I don't care about mail. A PP Max. Okay. That's okay, that's that is arguably pretty useful. I'll give I'll give you that, Trickmaster. Let's see if we can like Oh yeah, okay. He's still he's still he's still setting up the next trick. Okay, now believe it or fucking not, this was not the only thing I wanted to do in this episode. I can't believe how fucking naive I was to think I could do it all in like 10 minutes. <laughs> um, but now I'm going to fly to Meteor Falls because now that we have Waterfall... Uh, well, I'm not going to fly to Meteor Falls, I'm going to fly to fucking Fall Arbor Town and go through all that shit. But now that we have Waterfall, there's a secret area in Meteor Falls that we can access that I feels worth showing, so I'll meet you there. Alright, so we're here in Meteor Falls. Maybe maybe this time we'll end up seeing a Pokemon like Lunatone or Soul Rock instead of just the onslaught of Zubats that we saw last time. Um, but if we use Waterfall right here, it'll take you up to a new secret area that once again, obviously you can only access via Waterfall. So you can't be come here until you have the 8th Gym Badge. Um, I guess we can't go up that way. But there is one more Pokemon that can only be found in Meteor Falls um, that can also only be found. I, I did clear up some of my items, so don't worry about that. I put a lot of stuff in the PC. So I, I'll be able to pick up the items that, uh, that are, can be found here. Oh, okay. So apparently the onslaught of Zubats has evolved into Golbat. I'm just gonna... Wait, actually, if I use a repel, I'm not gonna be able to find... Well, you know, I'll just do it. And then when I get to the place where you can find the new Pokemon, I'll just... I'll just keep running until I run out of... Are you kidding me? There's trainers here? We've always battled Pokemon together as a twosome. We have confidence in ourselves. I hate you! I hate you! I thought I'd be able to do this without doing any trainer battles. Oh my god, dude. I... <laughs> I've been recording for an hour. This one episode for an hour. And you have the nerve to give me more train. Oh, and you're gonna, you're gonna stall for no reason. I'm, 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 I'm just, I'm fucking, I have a headache. I'm so done with this game. I thought that, like, I was done with trainer battles. For the most part. I, I, I knew I'd still have to do Victory Road and everything. Stop it! For the love of God, stop using protect. I'm going to kill your dog. I'm going to kill your pet dog. Medicham, I know you're like an animal in and of yourself, but I, I know that you have like your own pet. It's like Neopets. Like the Neopets have Neopet pets. And the pets have pet pet pets. And the pet pets have pet 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 pets. Okay, he's gonna use. Yeah, he's probably gonna use protect this turn now. Watch. Oh no. Okay, I'm faster than. Wait. Oh. Oh well. I think protect just has um. Has priority. Yeah, that makes sense. So if he was just using a normal attacking move, of course I'd be faster than him. Joan and Jay, or John and Jay. That's just that's two guys' names. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Young trainer, if the chance arises, will you battle us with us again? No. Nothing. I'm never coming back here in my life. Oh, come on, dude. You gotta be fucking joking. <laughs> Sanders, kill this bitch. This is where we dragon users do our training. The champion even visits. Now do you see how special it is here? 
I hate life. I was, I was mad enough just thinking there was one trainer battle, but no. Evidently, we're gonna be here for a while. The things I fucking do, <laughs> the things I do for Rayquaza and 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 ceremonial lessness's sake. I see. I make up words just because I love Rayquaza so much. Just because I wanted his episode to be episode 100, he's got to be the he's got to be the special little boy, and because of that, we got to have an hour-long episode. It's not even like it's that entertaining to watch. It's literally just been a bunch of trainer battles, is basically, in the stupid trick house, which isn't the trick house. You know, it 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 breaks up the monotony, I suppose, of like. of just like sh straight trainer battle after trainer battle, but s still it's not like that great. It's like just basically mazes and like things of, like basically layouts of gyms we've already done and been to and solved the puzzles of, bought all the trainers in. We're just basically doing it again. And it just, bleh. It just leaves a really bad taste in my mouth. All this stupid nonsense we have to go through. I definitely don't want Dragon Tamer Nicholas in my Pokenav, of all people. Please tell me I went the right way. Okay, yeah, I think we did. <sighs> That's me imitating Vanity's cry. I think this is it. Yes, okay. So in this room, in this deep, deep room, in this deep, deep house, in this deep, deep meteor falls. We'll find TMO2 Dragon Claw. Oh, you know what? I might actually teach that to uh, McPuff. Um, there's a Pokemon that can only be found in this specific room on on the land tiles. I don't think you can find it through surfing. So, like, in these tiles and the ones below. Let me just let the Max Repel wear off. Can you just give me something, game? Just give me one thing, for God's sake. You know, you know I'm really mad when fucking every time a Golbat comes onto the screen, my body just becomes cold and numb from just the pure fucking anger that's coursing through my veins right now. Like it literally is making... <sighs> Please make this madness end. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it's not, I'm not I'm laughing because it's funny. I'm just laughing because how fucking ridiculous this scenario is. I've been recording for literally an hour. My like my recording time literally is at 59:36 right now. Oh my ever fucking loving god. I want we I don't think we we've even seen a wild pokemon in Meteor Falls yet. That hasn't been a Zubat or a Golbat. And to me that Okay. All right. Okay. You know what? I I fucking quit. I fucking I quit YouTube as of right now. Goodbye. Have a good day. I came back, um, but it really seems like I made the wrong choice. Um, I thought I, I would be, you know, continuing to pursue my dreams by coming back to this Let's Play and continuing the search for this ever-elusive fucking Pokemon, um, but it seems like Golbat- oh my god! There we go. Wild Bagon appeared. So, Bagon is the one Pokemon I was referring to um, that you can only catch right here in this very room um, in Meteor Falls. So, of course, Waterfall is required to 
even be able to find Bagon. Um, I think I've actually talked about Bagon before, but it is a pure dragon type. Um, I think it's the only one of that. I think it's the only pure dragon type um, as of as of Gen 3 and Gen 4 too, I think. Yeah, now that I think about it, I think the only pure dragon after Bagon, I think, was Drudagon in Gen 5. Um, but anyway, it evolves into Shelgon, which is still pure dragon type, but just a little more defensive. Um, and then eventually, at the ripe old age of, I think, level 50, um, Bagon, or Shelgon, rather, will evolve into... Salamence. I wanted to catch it, but fuck it. I don't, I'm not even gonna bother. It evolves into Salamence, which is a dragon flying type. Really, 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 really good. Got even better with Omega in Gen 6, so if you're playing Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, definitely. Well, I mean, if you can, like, trade it over from another game, then sure. Um, but, you know. The entry requirement to even find Bagon is 8 badges, so. <laughs> Yeah, it's not really, you can't really even use it for most of the game. You, I mean, if you want to use the Salamence in the main game, you can really only use it for like Victory Road and the Elite Four, and that's pretty much it. And it also evolves really late, so you're, you're, you're really going to have to feel really masochistic to want to use Salamence at the end of the game. Um, but I mean, it's, it, the option is open to you as soon as you have Waterfall. Anyway, in the next episode of Pokemon Emerald, episode 100, we are going to go to the Sky Pillar and face off against the almighty Rayquaza. I'll see you then.